Good evening, YouTube and YTPC. How are you all doing? I'm enjoying some tobacco in my Henrik Worobiec pipe from Poland that um, the Smoky Dragon, uh, good old Roy in Wales, uh, sent me. And um, a few days ago, a new package arrived um, from Wales. Thank you, Roy, my dear friend. And um, well, there were lots of lovely things in it, and I made a little clip to show you that uh, all those lovely things. And um, actually, one of the things I will do a spoiler here. I'm smoking some of it already. Um, Erin Moore mixture from Scandinavian Tobacco Group. Um, and this is not the, the flake, this is the uh, ribbon cut, uh, mostly a ribbon cut, let's say. And um, I haven't tried any of the Erin Moore tobaccos, you know, there's way too many sort of really famous ones that everyone says that these are really good. That I haven't tried, so at some point I'm going to make a, ser a little mini-series about those uh, fantastic untried tobaccos. Um, and uh, in this, I, I can't put this pipe down, Roy, you know. Um, it's, it's just so, you know, jumps into your hand from the pipe stand. That's how well it fits, you know. So, um, just a, f a first mini impression of what I have after about a quarter of a bowl. It's what I would call a, a mild aromatic. It's um, Black Cavendish, Burley and uh, Virginia with a kind of fruit topping that uh, everyone was always trying to say is pineapple because that's a funny symbol on the tin lids which looks like a pineapple um, but actually is it's more like some kind of citrus topping I wouldn't necessarily it jumps out at you and says I'm pineapple but uh, it's probably not far away uh, from some fruit like that but it's very mild I, I think and um, you know, if you like the standard Black Cavendish Burley Virginia mixtures that are the carrier tobaccos for aromatics, um, you know, you, you get a, those tobaccos coming through. Um, some said this could, uh, I think Jim Inc. said it could ghost your, your pipe, but... Um, I beg to disagree. I think this is actually quite a mild topping. I don't know if um, if this has been a, a little while stored away or whatever, but um, it's. Uh, I, I wouldn't worry. I don't generally worry about ghosting much anyway, because uh, you know I'm always smoking ar aromatics, and after a few new aromatics that one ghost has put pushed the other ghost overboard so you know i don't really worry about it but i've smoked stronger aromatics where i could think maybe that could be a problem but i wouldn't think in this case um right yeah, it's, it's a nice uh, pleasant easy going mild aromatic uh, some people say the flake is uh, quite different, so I have to try the flake and uh, see how that goes. Anyway, I wanted to show you today the Yabo from uh, dear old Roy, and here it is. Well, this is a, a Blitz video about a box I got yesterday from uh, Great Britain, from Wales. From good old Roy and uh, had sent some things to say thank you from the first 
tin of uh, Tokai Louis Doberman tobacco and uh, one or two other things I sent and I, I really thought uh, you know that's that's great like that but good old Roy <laughs> sent me some other stuff which I jarred up the uh, Erin Moore mixture which I still haven't tried and know I will like and so many good reviews say it's really good and um, a bit of cabbies which is a uh, cabbies mixture I haven't tried either and everyone's well a lot of people say you really like it or you don't but um, I always want to try that one and um, he also sent me some Welsh cakes which are a bit like Eccles cakes in uh, England but they're better you know of course the Welsh make wonderful bakery things and um, I remember those when I lived near Car Cardiff I used to like these with a cup of tea and uh, I'm really going to enjoy eating those because uh, you just can't get them over here at all so that's brilliant and um, sent me a, a nice fountain pen and uh, I used to write up to the end of my school days with uh, a nice fountain pen and this is a beautiful one Roy you should you shouldn't have sent this to me this is so beautifully made and uh, it's one of those uh, you know one where you draw the ink into it and it's got this beautiful nib and uh, if I ever got uh, a contract to play Doctor Who with the BBC I would sign that contract with this Still waiting for the phone call, uh, but you never know, you know. But I shall use that for signing Christmas cards. And he also sent me a pipe, a, a beautiful pipe. Uh, I always get this wrong because this is Diamond Shank and I th want to say Bulldog and not Rhodesian, but I always get it wrong so whatever it is and um, it's beautiful uh, partly rusticated and partly smooth it's, it's a, a lovely pipe really and it's nine millimeter nine millimeter pipe hardly smoked I think and uh, I'm really gonna look forward to smoking this and of course I will smoke in this also Roy some of that uh, Doberman tobacco, um, which I've all re rehydrated and now I've just got one that's almost ready with a Tokai wine topping. Not quite finished, but I will try some of that in this pipe and also a Doberman pipe, which should arrive any day. And uh, you can't believe it. So these tins, as I said, because the tobacco is in good nick and you can definitely rehydrate it and even retop it to about I think eight and a half or nine out of ten. I'm pretty sure I'll get pretty close to that, similar to the original. After sixty years, and this is another uns. Um, unopened tin you know this is a, a sealed tin it must be worth a hundred quid at least perfect condition and uh, I don't know what to say Roy I'm so grateful and uh, I will treasure this and one special day perhaps I'll open this one and rehydrate it but it's effectively in a good status it's effectively in a good stasis uh, preserving tin it lasted 60 years there we know that's that's survived so um, I can keep it there for a bit longer until I've used up the first tin but beautiful condition tin you'd think this was made last week you know 
So, all I can say, Roy, is thank you for all these beautiful things, and so appreciated. I don't have any room for any more tobacco, so nobody send me any tobacco anymore because I've got 200 year supply here now. <laughs> But I will definitely be trying these ones and one day I'll get around to restoring this one and uh, I'll have some of that too. <laughs> so incredible and thank you Roy, you're, you're so generous and I, I promise you after our recent exchange I will not break the seal on that second tin, that will be something that uh, will go on uh, into the future with someone else uh, after I'm left this earth or go into a museum, who knows. Um, all of the uh, Welsh cakes are gone. They were so good. I mean, I just love them. Put a little bit of jam on some of them. Oh, it was delicious. And um, I would have tried that new pipe, but I love the first one you sent so much. It's going to take me a little time, but I will try that second pipe pretty soon. And it uh, looks really great. Thank you. You know, you're, you're always so generous to me. And I've got Cabby's mixture to try as well. So can't beat it. Um, YTPC, everyone's so kind and generous. Well, that's just it for today, a short one, but uh, you all take care, look after yourselves, and uh, enjoy your pipes and tobacco. Cheers.